guys, thanks for tuning in today. This video is all about our box flutes and how to play. So let's get playing. Our box flute design is a globular enclosed flute, so it's in the ocarina family. Five notes, as you can see, for the five holes. That's pentatonic scale play. All that means is anyone and everyone is going to sound pleasing right away playing this flute as long as you follow these simple guidelines. All right, and then we put a lanyard on it. That way it's very accessible to take out in nature or wherever you're going to be playing. You just put it around your neck. You have instant uh, jewelry, instrument jewelry right there or musical instrument bling, what I call it at shows. And then as a beginner, if it does fall out of your hands, it's right there on your bean. So you can just pick it up without stress and start all over again. Okay, so let's get playing. We have our flute in our hand. A lot of people have a tendency to hold it like so. We're going to make sure that the pads of our fingers are covering the flute so that no air is escaping. And then next up, we're simply going to put the flute up to our mouth and blow into it. All we're doing, just pretend like you're giving it a little kiss and blow into the flute. And there we made our first sound. Okay, so now let's start working on the scale. We're simply going to have all the holes covered and we're going to start raising from our right hand to our left hand, each finger one at a time coming towards ourselves. So I'm gonna start, it's gonna look something like this. My ring finger, middle finger, pointer finger, over to my left hand, middle finger, pointer finger, and then I'm going to close the opposite way that I came down, like so. And now they're all back and closed up again so we can continue on and play. So let's go ahead and play our scale. Take a deep breath. And as you go up and down the scale, as you're practicing, just remind yourself, practice makes progress. As you go up the scale, you're gonna to wanna to increase the airflow that you're putting, the pressure behind it. And as you're coming back down, you wanna taper off to hit those sweet notes. So let's try again. Here we go up and down the scale, starting with our right hand, jumping over to our left and coming back down. And right there, playing the scale, you can start creating a soothing song right away just by going up and down the scales. So the next step is to start to what's called jump in your notes. And that's from going all holes covered and closed to whatever note that you would like to jump over to. So for example, if I'm going to jump and I want that hole to be open to create that particular note, I'm going to have all the fingers that are below that, I'm gonna have everything opened and everything above it is going to be closed. So my left hand is gonna stay closed while everything on my right hand is gonna be open to get to this note right here. So it's gonna sound like this and look like this. If I wanna jump over to this note right here. All the fingers come up off of those notes. The one above it stays closed. And you can start to use that with the scale to create melodies and different ways of playing. Okay, so the next thing that we can start doing to change the way the flute sounds is what's called tonguing. And we use our mouth, our tongue, and we just make the t, -t sound except we're not actually gonna make the sound, we're just gonna go through the motion. So with that's the way that's gonna sound playing our flute is like this. And you can hear that change the dynamic of the sound just a little bit. The next thing that we can do to change the sound is with our fingers. And I like to call it like the wailing or singing or crying of each note. And that's just basically 
rolling up and down, going through the note, and you'll hear the difference. And that's just going to take time and practice. As I said, practice makes progress. We're all learning here together. Okay, the next thing that we can do is with our breath, you can intensify those notes with the more air pressure or you can uh, decrease air pressure and extend those notes. So it's putting a lot of pressure behind her, behinding that first note and then tapering back putting a little bit more pressure and it created a different sound that you can make. And you can combine all the things that we just went over to start creating your own melodies and own music by simply blowing into the flute, using the scale, using different techniques we just went over for basic play. start creating your own sounds and songs. Well, there you have it. That's our quick, basic how to play our box flutes. Hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe, like, share all the social things. Help us grow. Come on back. Stay tuned for more videos. Bye guys. Thanks so much. Check everything out that we do is on pickandstick.com. You'll find all of our flutes and travel dulcimers online. Bye guys. Thanks so much.